uh, our goal is to find area of a triangle on a sphere so this is a sphere first we'll start by making a great circle so this great circle is actually a circle on the sphere which has the same center as the center of the sphere so that that kind of circle is called a great circle then we make another great circle and this great circle again this also has the center equal to the center of the sphere so there could be infinite number of great circles on a sphere so right now I have two and then we see that let's call these angles um, this angle let's call it alpha and then if this is alpha then by vertical angle theorem this is also alpha and this is also alpha on the back and this is also alpha they all are equal then let's call this angle theta then this is also theta and then this is theta and then this is also theta so the area of the whole sphere is 4 pi r square 4 pi r square is area surface area of the sphere so then what is the area of a loon so area of the loon is proportional so if the if the whole angle is 2 pi the area is 4 pi r square so for for theta or for alpha the area is 4 pi r square divided by 2 pi multiplied by theta so this is area of the loon with angle theta which is equal to 2 r square theta so 2 theta r square that is 2 theta r square now we make a triangle so we make another great circle which is this again this great circle green has the center equal to the center of the sphere then let's make this sphere or uh, this triangle so if this is alpha let's call this beta and call this gamma so alpha beta and gamma if this is beta then this is beta if this is beta then if we make this then this is beta and this is beta now if this is alpha then make this whole loon this is alpha if this is theta then this is theta right and if this is gamma then this is also gamma and if this is gamma then this is also gamma and this is also gamma and this is gamma right so now we have not defined these angles um, so now let's see so this angle we can call if this is gamma then this is pi minus gamma because the angle here total is pi if this is beta then this is pi minus beta and if this is beta then this is pi minus beta right if this is gamma then this is pi minus gamma and this is gamma then this is pi minus gamma then this is beta then this is pi minus beta and this is pi minus beta and now we have gamma then this is pi minus gamma 
and now it looks like we have defined all the angles now let's say we need um, the area of this triangle alpha beta gamma and let's call this triangle then we see that alpha beta gamma the same three angles are happening alpha beta gamma here too on the back so this is what the, also the same triangle right and now let's see uh, let's start doing it so this triangle alpha beta gamma the area of this triangle will we'll start with alpha so if the angle is theta the area of the loon is 2 2 theta r square if angle is alpha then we have this area of this whole loon is 2 alpha r square but then we we double counted this this is extra right so if if so i have to subtract this loon if i subtract this loon then this area is pi minus beta so 2 pi minus beta r square but if i subtract this that means that i'm adding this so i have to add add back this thing so that means that i have to add 2 theta r square I have to add this gamma 2 gamma r square 2 gamma r square but if I add this that means that I have to subtract this thing because this 2 gamma r square is this whole so I have to subtract this so which is the which is the area minus delta and this uh, this whole thing becomes area delta so that means now if i do some algebra so i get delta is equal to 2 alpha minus 2 pi plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma r square minus delta and if this delta goes there it becomes 2 delta is equal to 2 and 2 is common so it becomes like alpha plus beta plus gamma minus pi r square and 2 is cancelled so area of the triangle becomes alpha plus beta plus gamma minus pi times r square and that is the formula for the area of a triangle on a sphere which has three angles alpha plus beta alpha beta and gamma done